So the developers have finally listened. What is up guys? It's Rev as you guys know me and I'm here for another video and we're gonna be talking about uh, the tales of Tenario devs actually listening to the community which is crazy and you know essentially if it's gonna save the game or not. We also have a small Elyon Adventures update that I'm gonna be discussing after it as well. So I kind of wanna make this like a two part video. We're gonna have the Elyon's part at the end and then we're gonna have the obviously talking about the tales part and you know kind of the future of the game as well as also just kind of the future of monster catching games in general for the Roblox platform. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go on ahead and just hop right on into it. So starting off, we're going to be starting off with the Discord update. So this did come out a while ago and I am covering it a little bit late. Um, I kind of was weird if I wanted to, you know, cover this or not, but you guys will be able to see it up on screen. It is going to be a post from B coming from the 9th of August. It is currently the 12th when I'm recording this video. And by the time you guys actually see this video, it'll probably be even later into the week. So yeah, um, but he, he goes ahead and says here, quick update on what's going on with Tales of Tenorio. We have some time to analyze a few things. First off, we decided to indefinitely halt the production of Flashton, which Flashton was going to be the next city, um, and the fourth stadium. Uh, when we started Tales of Tenorio, our goal was to create a game in the creature capturing genre that could be enjoyed by many. Despite the bugs and setbacks, I believe we delivered on that promise. However, it is undeniable there is still a hole left in some people's chests right now. It's clear to the team that while people enjoy Tales of Tenario in the modern Roblox landscape, it is not enough to just be a creature capturing game. Players want innovation. Okay, from day one, our vision was always to make a project that could evolve and grow over time. We've aimed to create a love letter to the creature capturing community, but it is clear that our current formula, while enjoyable, doesn't provide anything objectively unique or engaging gameplay loop that stands out in the genre. However, I know that one thing for certain, when uh, you have something you love, you never give up on it. You go back to the drawing board, then you draw again, better than before. Then you keep drawing. You draw on that board until your damn hands break. So that's what we have decided to do. The future is looking bright right now. I have a lot of confidence in the Broaden Horizons update that will fill the hole in many players' chest, which I'm going to be discussing the Broaden Horizons update in a little bit. Um, I'm going to be rolling out the return of the developer logs as well as weekly newsletters that will coincide with the more consistent teasers. Um, as some of you may have noticed, I planned on something exciting later this week. Thank you for your patience of support the production on flash will continue after the broaden horizons and we will roll the game back out of beta so i don't know what he means exactly by the whole beta thing ending it off um that's kind of a weird choice a weird thing to actually go ahead here and just talk about but hey i mean that's uh that's kind of i guess what he wanted to do so uh that's interesting um, and as I mentioned before, uh, we're also gonna be talking about the Broaden Horizons update, but first I want to talk about a little bit of what he actually posted in the announcement. So first off, they, they read the community. Um, they saw the fact that while well, yes, the stuff that they have now is enjoyable to a certain extent, it doesn't bring any innovation. It doesn't bring in new players. It doesn't bring in, um, new people who are going to want to try to enjoy the game. And it, and it, it honestly, it has its setbacks. He also admits the fact that the game has been buggy and has had delays and, you know, of the such. He does go ahead here and clarify that everyone and their mother already knew that was the problem with the game. Um, so, you know, nobody's surprised by that. None of us are like, wow, that was just such a hard thing to do. This is such just like a wow, like you, this just had to happen. But yeah, no. So I don't really know what, what's really going on with the fact that he's bringing up like, oh, you know, we know when it's like everybody and their mother knows. But right. But whatever. Right. So he, he acknowledges all this stuff and uh, essentially he goes, hey, we're going to be working on the Broaden Horizons update, which is going to be a new update. It's not going to be the fourth gym. So they're no longer working on the fourth gym currently. They are going to actually start working on more replayable content, more future stuff, which is great I'm, I'm happy the developers are actually finally listening and not just doing whatever they want um because it was weird on the fact they started doing whatever they wanted to when people said hey we want trading first and then they decided hey we're gonna do we're gonna do battling first now for some reason and like they've done this a lot where they they start on one thing and then they change their minds and then the dev team goes in a completely different direction so I'm glad the fact that they're back on track, they're working on stuff that's going to be new and something that's going to hopefully bring back players to the game and actually be interesting, which is where we're going to go into the Broaden Horizons update. Now, we have a little bit of a small teaser for it. I'm going to be showing it up on screen that uh, B posted in the sneak peeks of the actual Broaden Horizons update that you guys can kind of like see for your guys' selves. Um, it's just kind of the character walking around in some grass and it's like a, kind of an open area with like a house and a root or whatever. Um, honestly, it doesn't look that impressive. I'm going to be real. Even with the whole walking in the grass of seeing you walk in the grass thing, I don't really get what, what that's, 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 I, I guess it's the nice visual update. Um, do, does anybody really care about this though? Probably not. I'm just going to be so real. I feel like this teaser 
doesn't really do much for the game. I'm going to be real. This is a non-meaningful teaser. If you're going to make a teaser for a brand new update that's going to actually introduce new gameplay concepts that are going to be introduced and like have people actually be interested in playing the game again, um, I don't feel like this is the way to do it. I just feel like you're showing off something that you could have shown off for literally any part of the game. So, I don't know. The teaser's up there. You guys can watch it yourself. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section below. But, um, yeah, not really doing much for me. And uh, when I hear Broaden Horizons, I honestly don't know what to expect. I'm just going to be so real with you guys. Um, what it makes it sound like to me is that they're going to try to do a wild area type um, thing. Now, if you guys don't know what the wild area is in Sword and Shield, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, there was a huge wide open area where, like, Pokemon would be spawning, and, like, there was, like, small little puzzles, as well as also some, like, area things that were in it. Um, it was really dog shit in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, it wasn't a very good fucking area. It didn't really add much to the game, and I kind of feel like Broaden Horizons is trying to do that as well, but maybe when we see more sneaks of it, it'll be completely different, but when I hear Broaden Horizons, that's literally just the first thing that pops in my head. It's just they're going to try to do a wild area, and I, the wild area was a shitty fucking area, so I don't know why they would try to copy that. So let's just hope and pray that that's not what the Broaden Horizons area is, and it's something completely different. Um, if I'm right, though, and it is just a shitty wild area, that's not going to bring people back to the game. Um, and this is something that I discussed in my previous video, which if you guys have seen the previous video, it's going to be like, oh, are Monster Catcher games actually dying? Um, you know, thank you guys for all the support on that video. But if you guys haven't seen that video, I also mentioned in that video the fact that you need to innovate. And when you do innovate, it needs to either bring in players and actually be good or it's going to be ass. And it's going to make people even leave the game even further, um, which is where I want to kind of go ahead here and talk about the final thing that I'm going to be talking about for Lumion Legacy in this video. And that's really just going to be is this truly going to save the game? Is this going to actually bring new players back? Is this even going to bring back the players who were consistently playing it? Because right now the game is at like 100 players, right? Nobody's playing it, right? Um, so is this going to really bring back any of the players who they kind of lost um, over these like couple of months or whatever else? I'm gonna be real. I don't think so. I, I really don't think this Broaden Horizons update is going to do much. Um, because the thing about it is, is even to get to this, the, the thing that's really big and that they're going to have to do if they really want to make people try to play the game normally is they're going to have to make you have the Broaden Horizons update be playable from the jump. Because I'm telling you, the fact, the fact of the matter is, is even if the Broaden Horizons update comes out, it's good, everyone likes it that's in the community, you're still going to have to play through the regular version of Tales, which, yet again, is still enjoyable. Like, like I said, I've put over 100 hours in, you guys have seen my last video, which was my final review of Tales of Tenorio. I put over 100 hours in the game. I threw, I generally, I, I do enjoy the content that is currently in the game, but I can understand that so many other people would just get bored out of their mind and not want to do it. And it is hours of content. It's at least like, I think even if you rush through it, it's still going to be like five, six hours of content that you're going to have to do. So it's like, it, it's weird. Like you're still going to have to play through the base story. And if you didn't enjoy the base story, um, as well as also the bugs that are still prevalent within the game, if you didn't enjoy those, then you're still going to have to play through that to be able to get to this update. And let's say you do decide to do that. Then what happens if the update is dog shit then it's like even more people are just gonna leave and stop playing the game so do i think this is gonna save tales no i'm glad they're they're finally listening to the community though and um we'll see we'll see we'll just see have to see when the update comes out and uh yeah that's really gonna be it for tales of tenorio now when it comes to elion adventures which we're gonna go here and move over to the elion adventures we have a brand new video up on the elion adventures channel i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below so if you guys are interested in seeing it for yourself you guys can go there and go ahead and look at it and see uh, yourself but it is a brand new video showcasing off a brand new elion and it's weird the fact that they decided to do it with this elion i, I do have to say the marketing for this game so far has been pretty weird uh, because it's like, yeah, it's a new Elyon, um, Dupe Tile, which is a toxic, um, I believe he's a toxic light type or a light toxic type, uh, from what I've seen. And, you know, he has a cool design. I like his design. I think he's a cool mon. Um, you know, he's obviously going to have to evolve if I want to use him because like his base form, while it's cool, it's probably not going to be very good. Um, but yeah, so you know, I, I don't know. It, it's interesting. Um, I thought the video was really high quality. I don't get me wrong. And this is the thing about Elian Adventures that I've always noticed and I've always seen about this game is that yes, it's always high quality. Everything that Elian Adventures puts out is always high quality and why I have faith in it, but they still haven't showed off anything that's really unique about Elian Adventures just yet. We haven't really seen any of the gameplay and I'm really hoping that it doesn't end up just being another Tales of Tenorio. Um, but Tails' biggest issue was bugs. I don't think Elyon's going to have anywhere near as, as many bugs. It's just, I wonder if they're going to try to really go beyond, which I'm going to be making a video coming out pretty soon. I think it's going to be probably either the next video or the video after that I work on 
That's going to be what your monster catching game needs to gain an audience. Um, I, I don't think that's not going to be the exact name of it, but it'll be something along those lines. You guys will know it, obviously, when you guys see it on the channel. But yeah, uh, so yeah, you guys have that video playing in the background. So if you guys want to hear not more, more, uh, not hear more, but see more about Elyon Adventures and you know what's going on with that game, because I'm really, really, really excited for that game, and I'm really, really hoping that that game just does what Tails could not. Um, because honestly, I think that's the best monster catching game on the platform right now. I, th I think I think that's going to be the number one game that could even potentially rival Lumion Legacy in actual players. But um, yeah, hopefully you'll really enjoy uh, this video, and hopefully I get to see you guys on my next one. Peace.